Hi everyone, uh, Dr. Jeff back with uh, Coma Student Mia this week and uh, Mia, nice hot day out there. 30 degrees! Yeah, so the humid X probably up to 37, 38. She will be talking about how cold it is, so, <laughs> so enjoy it, enjoy it. Uh, what are we talking about this week? This week we're going to be finishing off our injection series with stem cell injections. Well, a couple weeks ago we talked about PRP injections and there's quite a few similarities between PRP injections and stem cell injections. With PRP injections, we're taking stem cells from the blood. So you're getting a blood draw done, we're spinning that, and then isolating the stem cells. Similar idea here, except you are taking stem cells from the bone marrow, which is really painful. So usually it's going to be from the adipose tissue. So we're taking stem cells from fat cells, essentially. So what are the two different types of injections you're getting? Uh, one, uh, with the stem cell and the, and the PRP injections. Um, the PRP injections, uh, one reason why people would choose to do a stem cell injection is because with a stem cell injection you're getting a much higher concentration of your stem cells. Um, with a PRP, they're drawing blood and they're spinning it, uh, but we really don't know how many stem cells are in there because uh, you're mixing up with a bunch of the, the platelet. Um, with the stem cell injection, one area they're going to go after, uh, as, as Mia mentioned, is, is your bone marrow. But bone marrow uh, is very, very painful and, and, uh, and can introduce infection to your bone. So most commonly now, they take it out of your adipose tissue. So uh, one of the bonuses with getting this done is you get a little tummy tuck down and a little tightening of your glute uh, to get the, uh, get the fat tissues out to, uh, to get those stem cells. Perfect. So the uses for a stem cell injection are pretty similar to the PRP ones we talked about. Things like osteoarthritis, cartilage degeneration, as well as chronic tendinitis are all common things that we use stem cell injections for. Another one that's more common with stem cell injections rather than PRP injections though are with complex fractures, so something called a boot top fracture, or also osteoporotic fractures. You're just kind of injecting into those fracture sites trying to promote that healing a bit better. There are three steps essentially to getting this injection done. Uh, the first step is actually obtaining the stem cells, so from the adipose tissue or the bone marrow. The second step is that it's being spun just like PRP injections through a centrifuge or just through filtration techniques to split up the stem cells from the other products that are within that injection. And then the third step is actually injecting it back into the site that you're hoping to promote some growth and healing. So there's a little bit of difference in, in, in effectiveness between the two. Uh, with the PRP injection, uh, some of the cells, when well, we talked about the concentration already, but some of the cells are already starting to turn um, and usually with a PRP injection, it's a little quicker before you get to notice results because the cells are already starting to change. So they're not as late, uh, they're starting to change. Uh, so you're usually gonna see some effects in three to six months, you'll start to notice a change in that joint uh, or that tissue. With the stem cell, it's a little longer. These stem cells are latent. They're not, they've, been, they've been asleep for a long, long time uh, and, and nothing's really activated them yet. So they have to get into the joint or they have to get into the tissue and they really have to get activated. So it can take quite a while. So with the stem cell, you may not actually notice a difference uh, for up to nine months uh, with it. You also find that with, with stem cells, the, the, the chance of success are a little bit higher because we have a little higher concentration of, of stem cells getting into the tissue uh, with it than the PRP injections. Uh, Cost-wise, they're kind of about the same. Um, generally, it's about uh, $500 to $1,000 for injection. It could take up to three injections uh, to get it done. Uh, one thing uh, parents are doing now is uh, uh, sometimes they're actually taking the placenta from their, from their fetus uh, born and they're freezing it because your placenta is full and full of stem cells. So down the road, it's going to be interesting to, to see that down the road you may potentially, when you need a new knee at, at the age of 50, uh, they're going to take your, your placenta cells and they're going to put it into a 3D printer and they're going to put the stem cells in and they're going to regrow you a new knee using a 3D printer in your stem cells. That's how far the research uh, is, is coming and it's going to go. Um, so this, using stem cells is, is, is the future of, of, of growing different tissues and healing different things. Very, very cool. Well, that's all we have for you guys this week. Like always, like our video, give us a thumbs up, comment anything you guys want us to talk about below, and follow our Instagram at Goldsworthy Wellness. And like always, here at Goldsworthy Wellness, we got, we got you back. back.